What is going on, everyone? Week one of the college football season. I'm Lauren Sissler here with AL.com, and guess what? We got a special guest, and he's going to be with us all season here on Head to Head. His name is Mike The Real McCoy. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Hey, so we're excited to have you. Now, this is a familiar face to you Alabama football fans. 2006 to 2009 season, he was the wide receiver. He played with John Parker Wilson as well as Greg McElroy. And so he's going to bring us some great insight throughout the season about his time at Alabama during the Nick Saban era. And, of course, of course, give us some intel on uh, the team itself and sort of the matchups throughout the season. And, of course, the season opener against Duke in Atlanta – uh, and it, uh, I guess Mercedes-Benz Stadium at 2.30 kicking off number two Alabama. So my first question for you, Mike, is when you get ready for these season openers, it's been a long off season, coming off a disappointing loss to Clemson. How ready, when you get focused, are you got to be to get up and go against uh, another opponent finally, especially after coming off that bitter loss to Clemson? You got to understand these guys are hungry. Uh, it's that time. We've been battling, going to head-to-head in practice. From sun up to sundown, film room, ice tub, training table, and they are about to take that aggression and frustration out on their opponents. So when you think about this matchup, obviously coming off the loss to Clemson, and then you look at the helmet Duke. Of course, some people think maybe this isn't going to be a team that Alabama might not get up for, or obviously being the 35-point favorite in this. What is that going through your head when you see the other opponent, no matter who it is? Coach Saban has uh, done a great job, and I'm still like that right now as far as business is concerned. Never underestimate your opponent. Never. Um, he puts on his pants just like you do. So That's right. Um, they're going to be out. Uh, I'm sure all these guys have done their homework. They know who their guys, their matchups are going to be. So we take nothing lightly. Okay, and so Duke, of course, uh, without their starting quarterback, Daniel Jones, from a couple seasons ago, who's now in the NFL, so they'll have starting quarterback Quinton Harris. So that'll certainly be a dynamic going into this one as well. And we'll factor into uh, the o- offensive production that this Duke team will have. And so uh, we'll start on the offensive side of the football. You've got Tua Tonga Vailoa, obviously a quarterback, a guy that could sling it around and has obviously had a lot of offensive production at Alabama. Um, you know, just overall, how different is this offense at Alabama from when you played during uh, the Nick Saban era early on? Completely different. Uh, Coach Saban, when we first got in, it was ground and pound. But you got to understand, that is the trend of football right now. You look at the NFL, it's 70% pass. So uh, that's the trend now, and everybody eats. And he has a lot of NASCARs out there on that football field and a lot of guys he can distribute the ball to. So um, that energy, um, those athletes, those NASCARs, if we would, would they call them the ride out boys? <laughs> So um, that swag is completely different, and they are about to air it out. So it's the greatest show on turf. I love it. I love it. I love it. So then on the defensive side of the football, what are you anxious to see? I know obviously Alabama locked and loaded, always reloading his defensive guys. I know some questions about some of the injuries, but overall Alabama is putting on a good defensive show and shouldn't have any trouble against Duke. Uh, I don't see them having one thing about it – they, your number two may be better than your number one. That is just the reality of it. We've always been, they have always been locked and loaded. Um, and the next man is up, he's one play away. So Coach Saban always prepares everybody, you're one play away. So you never know when your number or your name will be caught. Just be prepared to show up. So um, I definitely feel, I'm anxious to see the freshman uh, linebacker step up. Um, I've heard some good things. If Coach Saban mentions Rolando McClain or Dante Hightower or C.J. Mosley, that means the kid is special. Yeah. So if he mentioned those, he's up there with some great ones. Okay, and we're talking about Christian Harris. All right, and now it is prediction time. So I'm going to get you to give us a little prediction, and uh, I'll start first. I think Alabama will cover the spread in this one. Again, 35-point favorites. I've got Alabama winning big, 48-10. to 10. They're going to come out. They're going to be – Fist flying, as you said, coming off a disappointing loss to Clemson. It's been a long time coming. You're finally ready to get out there and start hitting somebody again. Alabama's not slowing down. It does not matter who their opponent is. And I think they're going to come out there uh, guns ablaze and ready to roll. I got a different prediction. I think we're going to go 52-0. and zero. I think they are Ooh. going to – they got a point. They have a point to prove. And just like anything else, I can – We've been on the other side of the fence, losing to Florida, coming out ready to go. So don't be surprised when they show up and show out. 